Not that that's important. It could be Malcolm X for all you care. That'd be cool though, you know. Malcolm X was still alive doing an open mic in a big city in different urban area. He's reduced to this. He was once called the only man who could stop a rise, and now he's putting him to sleep. Well, okay, enough of this crap. Um, I would like to introduce some people who made their stage debut here at the Middle East, whether that means that they made their first appearance at the Middle East, or whether they made at the Middle East their first appearance is not really relevant. But anyway, let me reintroduce him. Dr. Cup, accompanied by the baffling chair of death. <laughs>
individuals be digging? Well, you got an open invitation to Cafe Cabaret to turn it up. Come on down. He said we're not having it on July 1st, so please take no show July 1st. I'm going back to Pittsburgh. At Cafe Cabaret, we may We could get somebody else to run it. We don't need you. Really. That's true. That's true, except, except I'm the group leader who refuses to get involved in your petty squabbles. I refuse to be preferential unless you can tune my mandolin in for me. Then I'll kiss your feet. But, uh, gee, anyway, no, that, that's not really the tone of the remarks that I wish you could put across. I can note the expression of displeasure from the person in the front row. I'm sorry. Just a little bit of that poison. You know how it is. Showbiz. The spotlights. They shed a poison. Anyway, um, here's, a, here's a delightfully unaffected individual, a man who's going to be as pleasant for you to get to know as he was for me to get to know, Mr. Dan Eck. Mr. Dan Eck, let's give it up for him.
got me showing up like a pillowcase But you let my loving go to waste I'll chain my heart away Unchain my heart Baby, let me go Unchain my heart Mr. Dan M. Dan, are you aware that you share a name with a famous old-timey bluegrass fiddler? Well, his name is spelled E-C-K, so I don't think there's any relation, but who knows? Anyway, here's somebody else whose name I sometimes have problems with because it reminds me of so many other pleasant experiences in this instance. I've been calling her Debbie Rao for years, but her real name is actually Debbie Rao, as I discovered on a trip to Providence where she played the cab. And so please, direct from Providence and Worcester to us, Miss Debbie Rayo. Just like all this time they're pronouncing it wrong. I get Rayo, Rio, I never get it, never get no one ever gets it right. <laughs> I think I'll just go by Debbie. <laughs> tonight. I'm going to try a new blue song that I've been working on. It's a song about a friend of mine. It's called Time to Say Goodbye.
too. Well, that depends now. If nobody shows up, you can do 10. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's, that, it's like playing the lottery, though. Nine times out of 10, forget it. You win a couple of dollars on a scratch ticket, you think you're beating the system hot. Huh? Well, anyway, in this lottery that we call life, we are sometimes privileged to have people who have played here professionally and gotten paid to do it. And among those, we have, well, this is, yeah, this is, our, this is our token professional entertainment portion. Um, and, um, well, they call themselves Annabelle and the Irish Rose. Let's give it a try. Wild Rose. Oh, Wild Rose. Oh, Sean sure. sure, and I made a mistake. Only one of us is Irish. Sure. Right. Okay. Annabelle and Wild Rose. Not the Irish about this group. Wait a minute. This is the Irish. I'm sorry. There's something Irish about this group. Uh, we've got a little bit of revamping to do here. Straight vocals.
3 o'clock, I fell in love. At 4 o'clock, I was married.
of welcome to please sing along with us. Because it's in English. Yes. All of you. In the gray cat, not morning, fare you well, fare you well. In the gray cat, not morning, fare you well, fare you well. Sun will be a shining, fare you well, fare you well. Sun will be a shining, fare you well, fare you well. In the gray cat, not morning, fare you well, fare you well. In the gray cat, not morning. Consider it helpful. I thought it was Coke. Okay. Same difference. You know, it's Coke sugar, sugar doesn't have as much sugar. Coke doesn't have as much? I don't think so. Um, it has more That's phosphoric. why I always drink Pepsi, but. Well, Coke has phosphoric acid. If you leave your dentures in it overnight, well, then you're pretty stupid. <laughs> okay, true or false? People in Pittsburgh think the Dick Van Dyke show is cutting edge. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, they're still that. they're still walking with the Capri slacks. You haven't even gotten platform shoes yet. It's a real cultural backwater, or as they say, cultural. Uh, okay. <laughs> Pittsburgh's most significant invention is the Ferris wheel. True or false? I 
I didn't know anybody in Pittsburgh. Gee, I didn't know somebody even that good came out of Pittsburgh, but yes, it's true. What about Jonas Salk, who invented the uh, polio vaccine? Well, people in Pittsburgh say he did, but every city seems to claim someone who invented the polio vaccine. People in Boston claim that, too. So. Jerry Lewis claims he cured muscular dystrophy. I mean, what's new, you know? He's from Weehawken, Hoboken, one of those New Jersey towns. Uh, OK, Pits true or false, Pittsburgh is the only planet to have a baseball team named after the robber barons. <laughs> Football team, too. Oh, that's right. Hey, all right. Okay. Pittsburgh's chief distinction in the entertainment world is that it is where Donny Iris got his start. True or false? Never heard of Donny Iris? My God. Well, neither, except for the fact that I'm related to him, neither have I. Um, <laughs> okay. People in Pittsburgh still listen to Hank Williams and consider Conway Twitty avant garde. Yep, yep, no yeah, argument there. Those that know about them, you mean. Okay. In Pittsburgh, bingo is considered vaguely risque. <laughs> True or false? It's gambling. The lottery, that's not gambling. That's like breathing. Mm -hmm. Okay, and finally. True or false? Pittsburgh feels a vast and overwhelming inferiority complex towards Cleveland. I thought you were say towards the 20th century. Okay, well that about wraps it up. So tell us about Ross Perot. Ross Perot? Is he a Whig or does he just need one? He's applying for the position of president. <laughs> well, hell, what's his resume? Um, um, illegal acts, you know, uh, swindling the government. Great, just what we need. More of. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm making the Perot data in your mind trickle away. I was trying to think of a joke, but I was okay. trying to apply an old joke to that, but it doesn't make sense. All right, who's this vice president going to be? Um, his barber. And who's that? Or his money, I don't know. He's trying to decide. Vice President Ross Perot's fortune. But what happens if Ross gets sick? Does the money take over? It always does. Well, OK, I think we've just about tapped out that fertile stream of ore. Do you have any observations? Do you have any recommendations for me? I will venture to your primitive planet soon. And I must find sustenance. Where would you go if you were going back to planet Pittsburgh? Well, I wouldn't wear glasses, because they might think you've been to college or something. Perish the thought. Me? College? Me, hey, college boy. Eee! Yeah, they all talk like Mr. Potter once they reach the age of 50, you know? Eee! So, George, you think you're a college boy now? Well, Potter Town ain't seen the last of you by a long shot. It's either the poorhouse or jail for you, George. Well, thank you. That's quite unexpected. Well, now I think we're going to bring up uh, Margo, not Margo Perot, but a young lady who calls herself. M-A-R-G-O, and that spells Margo. Please give her a warm round of applause.
six songs kind of fitting in with the uh, blues and heart wrenching, tear my heart out, step on it, spit on it, whatever you want kind of stuff we heard earlier. Skull and I bleed.
but I'm coming out with a book. It's a book of photographs. It's called, You Took My Picture, Now Give It Back, Pronto. Have a espanol? Yep. I'm the wrong hero. Don't get the impression I'm stern and implacable, even though I am. I say, whenever I hear the word culture, I reach for my revolver. And whenever I hear the word service, I reach for my service revolver. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. So always bet on the fattest horse. That makes a lot of sense, Aesop. I want some of you to come up on stage with me here. Would one or two of you come up here for just a moment? I promise it involves no humiliation whatsoever. Would you please come up here? Particularly the ones who feel like talking anyway. Come on, Eric, be a sport. Be an oddity. Be a museum exhibit. Come on, Eric. I just want you to join me for a simple celebratory moment. Will no one join me? Very well. Please, God, this is my prayer. Let the wrong hero do a good show for a change. This is my humble plea to you. Okay, come up here and pray for me, because I need it. Because the wrong hero, he's not for everyone, but then again, he hates everyone. I'm the wrong hero. What? What? I write down everything, and I leave in all of the confusing parts. Do you know what that's called? Art. If I told that kid of mine once, yeah, you're done. This is the best you can do. I know. Hey, you okay? Hey. If I told that kid of mine once, I told him a thousand times, stop drinking the dog's milk from the dog's nipple. What? No explosive climax of laughter? Censorship. Censorship is what you get for that. I'm the wrong hero. The world is a contrast between self-righteousness and self-aggrandizement. And I am both. <laughs> and I will never let you forget it. Will I? I'm the wrong hero when I say more social injustice because it's interesting to watch. All three of the presidential candidates are left-handed and from the deep south. Why can't we get a good right-handed anarchist for a change? Some people say the wrong hero shows his cynicism as a mask. Actually, my showy mask is cynicism incarnate. You believe me, don't you? I surrender. I can explain the gun in my pocket and the large denomination bills with consecutive serial numbers. You see, I am a gun salesman, and I sell to coin collectors. Oh, is this in a police station? Forget it. My father said, I think we have a special surprise for you. that he stopped smoking through hypnotism. And I said, Dad, 
Isn't that sort of like bringing coals to Newcastle? He said, son, build a better mousetrap, and the world will be the path to your door. And I said, They're coming up with a sequel for Roots. It's called Nuts and Berries. I hear laughter from the hallway. Whoever that laughing person is, come in here, please. I died and went to heaven, and I went to God's bathroom. But Jesus left his face on all the towels. I went mountain climbing. Actually, it was a molehill, but I made a mountain of it. I'm working on a book. It's called The Story of the Schizophrenic. No! All these people walking around with X hats, I'm going to manufacture a line of O hats. That they can stop. Brought to you by Bolivia. Come to Bolivia in the Anorexia Islands. You will walk in the fine white sands in your bare feet because the natives will have stolen your shoes and eaten them in Bolivia in the Anorexia Islands. Brought to you by the Miss Universe pageant. I'm the wrong hero. I am totally without guile. Or so I would have you think. I'm so angry when I'm cute. There are two things in life you are never prepared for. Double vision. I'm not into breasts. Not until I lose my teeth. I am a non-violent hypocrite. Believe me. Or do you want some trouble? I held a bullet in my hand, but I just couldn't get it through my head. I hate stereotypes, stereotypes, stereotypes. I'm in love with the spotlights because I'm afraid of my own shadow. I may not have a lot of money, but money isn't everything. There is something more important than money. And what I think is what it is, I'll tell you! The Aztecs. Now there's a tribe after my own heart. I'd like to tell you a little secret about the wrong hero. I'm all ears. I've never had a normal life. Kill me! Oh, kill me! Because I'm all ears. How am I going to sing my song? Elvis is not sleeping, he's only dead. Oh, you're going to sing? All right. You can teach an old dog new tricks. But stop pestering him or I'll bite you. Pick a number. Any number. Good, you can count. Zero, that rhymes with hero, and that means bad. What the hell? I think it's a gift. I think it's the Pope's cod piece, huh? <laughs> Is it almost time for you to get off stage? Soon, my friend. Please cut the echo. I would like to speak in a normal tone of voice for the remaining 20 minutes of my song. I like capitalism. 
I'm paid to say this. Rock and roll is capitalism in one, four, five. Consume, 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 consume. Fornicate, fornicate. Die, 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 die. Thank you, buddy Holly. I have butterflies in my stomach for man does not live by bread alone. Number one on the wrong hero's hit parade. Number two, nothing's more fun than a barrel of monkeys except one monkey, monkey in a barrel doing something unspeakable to himself. You may hear the rest of this joke, but it will cost you $25. I was in a rock and roll band. They were called the Ego Maniacs. Before that, they were known as the We Are From New York Band. I carried the weight of the world on my shoulders, and my head got completely crushed. I can't dish it out, but I can take it. That's a game one can play. Autism. Television. Nintendo. Solitaire. Singer-songwriter. The game is worth the candle. But no more. I didn't lay a finger on her. It was bigger and thicker. Okay, maybe not exaggeration. Listen to reason. In other words, surrender. I didn't know that the Indians had built a campground over my house until I found army blankets infested with cholera, bingo card markers in the shape of peyote buttons, and empty bottles with the label white man's fire water written on them. And then I knew. I'm the wrong hero. I was born under a lucky star, and it felt so good when they pulled it off of me. I took an informal survey of the man in the street, but he was completely crushed beyond recognition and not in the mood to answer questions because he was the man in the street. This closing segment of the wrong hero set is brought to you by Einstein Acres. Einstein Acres. If you lived here, you'd be home by now, relatively speaking. Einstein Acres, where smart people live. Einstein Acres. It's time to push the panic button. Where is it? Where is it? I signed my own death warrant, but I used the pseudonym. I'm like a baby. I always vomit a little when you pat me on the back. Everything happening now is pre-hero. Everything that happened in the past was pre-pre-hero. Everything which will happen in the future will be post-post-hero. <laughs> I invented a new art form, if you call ranting an art form. It's all over but the shouting, but that's coming very soon. Let's talk intelligently about sex for a moment. That's enough of that. Uh, the people in your jails and the animals in your zoos say more about you than it does about the imprisoned creatures that you store there. I want to work hard, and later on, I expect no credit for it. OK, I'm bucking a trend. Instead of saying yes, I say not. Instead of saying not, I say, yeah, because I'm the wrong hero. I wouldn't be caught dead near a cemetery. Anybody who goes to Freudian psychoanalysis needs to have his head examined. Freud merely perpetuates what he pretends to kill. My money was burning a hole in my pocket. My money was burning a hole. I lost my head through that hole. I lost my nerve through that hole. 
I lost my grip through that hole. I lost my temper through that hole. I lost my tongue, my heart, my mind through that hole. Finally, I found that I was neither here nor there, and that there was nothing at all except that hole in my pocket. Yes, 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 yes. 